What is up everyone? So you guys saw in the last couple of videos, I was in Australia for the LZ World Tour. It was an amazing weekend. Australia, you guys blew my mind. The vibes, the cars, the drivers, everything about it um, was incredible. I honestly cannot wait to go back. I sucks that it's like the longest flight ever. It's a journey, but hopefully soon I had an incredible time. And to be a part of the LZ World Tours this year was amazing meet people from all around the world new subscribers to drive with people all around the world with all my friends it was just an amazing experience and i cannot wait for the tour next year so hopefully you find out the the dates and the location soon because i am eager to find out where we're going next year once again i have to give a huge shout out to jason for allowing me to drive his 34 sedan this weekend the car put up a fight on me but it was incredible to have a machine there to drive and to push my limits and to become even better of a driver. It was just amazing. So Jason from Keep It Re, thank you once again from all of us because we all drove your cars and we definitely put quite the smack on all of them. But while I was gone, the boys of course were putting in work, trying to get the R34 ready. So when I got home, it was freshly painted and well, they did their thing. So check it out. But now we're just putting it in the hands of Anthony. Yeah, I've, I've done everything I can. Now I'll pass off the torch. It's been many, many, many hours of prep and the time has come. Well, let's let Anthony do his thing. Up, you're in the suit. Yeah. In 10 minutes, you're gonna see red. When I see it right here in the future. <laughs> Anything. I gotta make some more pain. 
Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Yeah, sure. Oh. You sure? Oh, <laughs> Coat the thickest stuff that you would spray? What's thicker? Bed liner. Bed liner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Primer's thicker than, than clear? Yeah. Then why does why is clear the one that gets on everything? Why is it like the stickiest shit? The way it flies in the air. Yeah? Yeah, it goes everywhere. Clear is like a heavy glue. Yeah. When it gets on something, it gets on something. Yeah. So it's hard to take out. Paint at least, you can scrub it with Reduce or something. Yeah. From soft. Clear. Done. Uh huh. Oh, it went wet. Clear coat time. Doesn't matter. It's been so many days, so much stuff behind the scenes, which you've actually been covering on the Patreon. We have. We've been making some extra content, some behind the scenes, all the stuff you guys don't normally see. So go check it out, patreon.com backslash Jimmy Oaks. What are we going to do right now, though? Pick the 34 up, which you saw painted it yesterday. I saw the Sorry. Instagram posts. You guys I, are. I'm mentally physically drained after this one. I'm so <laughs> tired. Like, it, it, you can probably see it on camera. Like, I'm not very enthusiastic or anything. Just, I'm just tired. Yeah. This thing's taking a lot out of me. Go check out Anthony, master. Painter. Master painter, body. He's he's good at it all. He does it all. Does it all. Yeah. So, this is the first car Jimmy has. Me, Anthony, and Brian on one project, which is wild. Oh, yeah. Still got it? That's still got it. <laughs> The way you back that trailer up, that guy could take my daughter on a date. If I had one. Or this guy. Did you let me date his daughter? He's impressed. <laughs> what do we have here, guys? Wow. Buddy. Morning, Anthony. Wow. Beautiful. Damn, nice job, guys. Gleaming, man. Gleaming. Beautiful. That's what he said? Yeah. Did you send him a text message? No, he hasn't seen it. He hasn't seen it? He'll see it tonight. He gets in tonight. Damn, that's good. Nice work, Anthony, as always. You're impressive. Let's check this thing out in the sun. Thing is gleaming, <laughs> gleaming, <laughs> spicy. spicy bay. Nice work, boys. Can't say it enough. That's it. Back to the shop. Just like that, another bay done. Killed it. Can't wait to see the RB, Anthony. It works. Made the dream work. Look for sure. All right, boys. It's the final touch. The final bit of ceiling spraying. Paint work on this thing. I know Spoon is very grateful that it's finally <laughs> <laughs> This has been a hell of a job, but this is the last bit to encapsulate the front end of this car so it's sealed brand new, never rusting again. 
Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So <laughs> we talked about it, how one of the biggest downfalls of these cars is their lack of basically sealant and underbodies on the car. As you can tell, we put a bunch of seam sealer in the inside to make sure no moisture gets in the seams and rust. And of course you can tell they don't really put much kind of sealing underbody spray on the chassis to begin with. So we're gonna seal it up with our favorite sealer, the Raptor liner. No, we're not sponsored. I wish we were just because it kind of, I guess it's not that expensive for what you get, but. But they should still sponsor us. But we, they should still sponsor us. Thank you guys. So uh, <laughs> Raptor liner, it's actually meant for like the bed of trucks. It's like a bed liner. We've used a lot of underbody sprays before. Spoon, I know you've used a lot. There's a lot out there. There's rubberized, there's non-rubberized, and there's bed liners. And I've never been really, really happy with any of them besides the Raptor liner stuff. It's like not too aggressive. It doesn't dull after a while because a lot of these underbody sprays, like they just get really dull looking and it looks really kind of just cheap to be fair. But the Raptor liner stuff, it house, it holds the gloss a like for a long time. Covers great, dries hard, resistance to getting beat up. Like even some of the other bed liners, they're cheap. They're cheap, they, they don't stick well. Like this stuff, a quick scotch and spray and it's on there forever. It, it sticks anything. It sticks anything. So like, I don't care if there's an ad for them, it's good shit, use it. And they also sell colored ones, which is really sick. Yeah. Like, and you can tint them. Like you guys saw on the E36, we put the base coat in the clear stuff and it tinted it red, or they have all the primary colors. And it looks dope when you do like a color matched fender line like we did on uh, DJ's car, we did DJ's white. Sammy's. Sammy's car, we did purple. This would be cool yeah, to do if red. Be, if you wanna be a hot boy. You color match your Raptor liner underneath it looks sick, but we're gonna keep it OEM looking and just go with uh, black. Very simple, very easy. Literally eight fluid ounces, hardener into the bottle, shake it. Some kits come with gun. You can buy the gun separate. It's as easy as mixing the hardener and, and shooting it. Don't be intimidated. The way you guys, we talked about it, the Everlast welders. We asked you guys to reach out to the company and guess what, Everlast reached out to us and they were awesome and we have something going on with them so huge thank you to everyone who tagged us in everlast now you guys can leave them alone <laughs> i feel so bad because people are still tagging them now leave them alone leave them alone. <laughs> shake really well spoon's got this one under control make eye contact with your two hands make eye contact with your friend do it <laughs> Just you know, really activates it. No, that technique was wild. What was Why? that shit? That looked over. <laughs> just, I'm just a bartender. That's it. Yeah. If you want to think other intrusive thoughts? That's on you. Shake it till it gets hard. You know. <laughs> the stuff doesn't overspray really bad. Like it doesn't go far, but it's heavy, so it all falls to the ground. So you will make your floor super sticky if you don't cover it. So lay this stuff down or wet it. Good to get all the weird tight spots first before you do like a big overlay so you don't just have a clump of it everywhere. Also, make sure you back tape every single little hole or else, or else it will end up in your engine bay and you're gonna have a bad time. Baby Ray's right there, coming out like barbecue <laughs> sauce, huh? For real. <laughs> Use a whole bottle for one wheel arch? Yeah. If you're gonna do all four wheel arches, get four bottles. Steve, rate his technique. Uh, six out of 10. Fair enough, I'll take it. Double hand technique, classic. <laughs> Was that? 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. Prep for a few hours. Prep for two days. <laughs> Spray in 10 minutes. Bullgate, dude, it looks so good. Like, see how glossy it looks right now? It really doesn't dole out too much after it dries, which is really nice. Like, it's to use like a, a bed liner on something that gives you like an almost a restoration finish, you can't beat that. You got this stuff on Amazon, dude. I think we bought this from Walmart, to be fair. Was it Walmart? Yeah, I got it on Walmart.com. We're gonna let it dry for a little bit, but we gotta start peeling it off before it fully cures or else it's gonna be a pain in the ass to take the tape off because it will kind of dry together. together. So we'll let it flash real quick 
and yeah, then uh, like 20 minutes and then start unmasking it and we'll start masking it and be careful when we mask it because you don't want to get it on the paint you don't want to get on the paint good luck steve a b-o-s <laughs> very very careful yeah because if you touch the paint it's game over oh look at it against the red though oh that's so good nothing hits better than a fresh red paint job no nah. no nah. yeah we missed your reaction you got it in late no way you got to see it by yourself yeah, yeah i saw it in at one in the morning after being on a 23-hour flight walked well, it i was like nice <laughs> i was gonna put it up and make you wait till the next day dude it's oh my it is i haven't looked at it that hard this is beautiful brian killed it on the seam sealer job of course spoon killed on every other aspect of it you also don't realize how many damn holes are in this engine bay until it's all back taped. Yeah, by we made a point of that. If you ever want to shave a 34 bay, Just, you're ready. Yeah, get ready. Feel a little better now? From rags to riches, baby. This thing was hurt. Like it never happened. All right, there's a lot here. Let's just use some uh, good old fashioned YouTube magic. Boom. Look how red this thing looks. It's absolutely nuts. But uh, there was a lot of holes and Spoon went around with some wax and grease remover and cleaned up all the edges because once we pulled the tape off, there was like a little edge of the underbody on it just because it's such a thick material. So any tips and tricks on that? All right, wax and grease remover. Takes it right off. Right there. That's so why you want to unmask it while it's still soft. Or else you're gonna have a solid. <laughs> You dimple yeah, of you're gonna have to go back and cut every single hole but the bay looks absolutely incredible the arches they're all brand new and the whole front of the car now is completely restored it's a brand new car like luckily we got this car even though it's super rusty it was super rusty um the outside had a fresh paint job which was nice like if you look at the car right now it looks fully restored underneath in the rear there's still some rust here and there but there's nothing that will actually ever impede the structural integrity of the car and nothing that we kind of can't just really cut out seal and patch up, yeah. patch up and luckily underneath it doesn't really have to look pretty just gotta make sure it doesn't spread and um well cause any issues in the future but for now i mean this thing has come the longest way if you guys remember literally holes of rust in the whole entire front of the car to this resto by spoon it's fucking insane that's my favorite <laughs> so we got to let the uh, underbody cure for like a day or else it's going to be tacky and we're going to have a pain in the ass time. So we're going to let this cure overnight. And then at this point, it's at the stage of assembly. We can start getting the uh, chassis harness back in, brake boosters, the master cylinders, the subframes, all that good stuff. Get the RB in here and start mocking everything up around it. The engine should be good enough. We got to swap the pan on a couple small bits, get the trams on, and then we should be able to bolt it in the car and start getting right after the engine swap easier said than done there's a lot of things we still have to put in but we're at the point where it's now all progress right there's no more tearing down there's no more replacing nothing and it's just all bolt on fabricate and go no more sanding no more <laughs> sanding. <laughs> while i was gone something showed up that was pretty freaking cool uh now we got our beloved rj here and uh he's been getting real real juiced up over all these imports we've been getting over the last few years he was like man it's my time it is my time to get something fancy on the other side so rj a few months ago hit up our boys at method auto group and found a car that he was super interested in and it's so a, stoked on i think it's a really cool fit for him and it's like a change of pace but also back to his roots and i really wanted you guys to see if you follow rj on instagram you probably would have seen it already the guys post about it a little bit but i want to give you guys a quick tour of the car so you could see it just so when i was just doing it saying you could, you could bug him about it so or RJ, if you're on our patreon or if you're on our patreon you already saw me struggle with it rj show me your new car da, da, da. take a look at my 1998 honda accord estate a wagon <laughs> it's a wagon Dump. it's a touring Touring, Touring, estate, streamline, shagging wagon, camper, whatever you want to call it. Sick. Look at this thing, by the way. This thing was pretty cheap, too. Shout out, Method. So, I don't know much about these things. I've never seen a cord wagon before, but off the rip, this thing is actually really, really dope. I love silver cars. It has a factory lift kit on it, which I think it's got makes a full it. Arrow kit. I, like, think, I think this is the SIR arrow, because they made this in an SIR. The lift kit with the black, blacked out headlights and stuff. This way more aggressive cool. front on the Japanese version too. The front end is, well actually my Accord, so I have an Accord right there. I have an LX J series factory car, V6 Is that the same gen? 
It's the same gen. Yeah. The only so the US got the really ugly front. We have the JDM front. Cool. It does look a lot more aggressive, doesn't it's it? Way, headlights are more aggressive. Bumper is more aggressive. Is Hood's different. Like the, the Japanese Prelude headlights. Where this reminds like, me of it. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Similar. I always loved that car. And then I got this one and I was like, wow, that car is ugly. And this is really freaking cool, RJ. It's a boat. This, this the the arrow kit, like the skirts and the lips and everything, like make the car. I mean, look how big the back glass is in the corner. Oh, glass. This is such a good daily driver. This is so sick. Grandma spec. I just it. put a head unit in and speakers the other day. Dude, the Shout out Spoon, I suck at wiring. Was this a grade four? This thing's It really is a grade four. It's a grade four? Right? Yeah. It grade like four it. car. Four. If this thing was always driving, it would be Interior is sick. There's a bunch of fun little gadgets I've, I've learned that okay. this car has out of nowhere. And this thing was sub 10 grand, which is pretty Oh. Jim, it was sub five grand. No, it wasn't. <laughs> really? The Method Boys are good. And it's a really, like, beyond it being like a cool car, it's just a nice car. It's just a it's nice clean. car. So I'm saying, like, nowadays, especially if you want a Honda, you're better off importing something. It doesn't even smell like, it doesn't even smell like cigarettes. <laughs> 84,000 miles. This is my first time seeing it, by the way, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. I wanted a silver car so bad. I wanted a wagon and I wanted a silver car. So, this is my first silver car, silver my wagon. first wagon, silver wagon, and my first import. That's so good. Factory fogs. Way cooler gauge cluster. Electronic power steering uh, adjustment. No way. Yeah. Got it back home. I didn't realize just just in case here. you had like too big of a pump at the gym and your arms are hurting. Loosen it, tighten it. You, like just, you just turn it up a little bit. Center console's funky. I just Why do they always get cooler patterns on us? That's what I said too. I love this in the door cards. I love the seat pattern. I love the Ooh, seat Ooh, there we go. Like Classic gray. Japanese cigarette burn. There's a couple on the back too. They're, that's what's happening. They're sitting here with their, their cigarette right here, going down the freeway. Like, oh man, a toll comes up. Uh, they, I don't have a toll token holder anywhere. Yeah, they, they started taking those things out. I was kind of, I was kind of hoping to get one. <laughs> it's great for sleeping in. It's like the if you fit I'm, your snowboard in there. I'm five ten and you can shut the gate. You're five, shut you're five the ten. Gate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> should, we, should, we get, should we drop them that promo code so they can get a car like this from Method? Just, this just in. Use promo code Jimmy Oaks. Get you some money off your import with Method Auto Group Jeez. right now. Just got off the phone right now. I told him we were showing the car. He said, I think the time is now. Save you guys uh, some yeah. money. Use the promo code. Can Jimmy I Oaks. use it? I want to get a second one. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Big ass. Jesus. Big trunk. <laughs> Homie holler. Can we talk about how cool this like full taillight spread is in the bag? It's like a Honda Odyssey. All right, don't, it's cooler than that. But. Okay, well, you know what, just reference on it. The back of it it's is like dope. It's like a JZX, not a JZX90. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> All right, hold on, pop the hub. You guys who it's on me. Did you get the uh, radio? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the radio working, RJ? This is one of my favorite things on here. Flip this open, a little storage. Yeah. Secret storage. That's where he holds the baby click. That's where he hides the baby. All right, Spoon, talk to me about whatever the hell this thing is. Oh! Huh? Shit, it's great economy. Get what? It's good on gas. Is that a D series? That's all, that's all they're good for. It's an F series. F series. F20 big ass single cam. 2.3 liter single cam VTEC. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do people do anything with these things? You can. There's very it. little support for them. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's okay. an F series, so. Not like. Put an H series. Uh, not H F like S2000. F. Yeah, no, no, no. Does this have any like. Very similar to the H series. You can put an H, uh, H22 head on. Oh, you it. love the H. No, I fing hate it. <laughs> big turbo right there. Yeah, plenty of room for a turbo. Yeah, plenty of room for you not to f touch it, that's for sure. The Japanese grading system was actually correct for once. It's crazy. It happens when with the silver cars. They tell the truth on those. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. yeah, yeah. We've gotten pretty lucky with the silver cars, yeah, huh? Yeah, what, three, car three silver cars from Method, and they all have been very Gems. Yeah. Silver is the way to go. I guess get a silver that's car. Cheaper. The big question is, because it's probably a million comments on what to do with your own car, um, what you doing with it? I've already done half of it. Uh, one, radio, yep. speakers, remote yep. starts getting done today. Mm -hmm. Need to get a roof rack. Uh -huh. I want a tent box because I want to camp in the thing. Jesus, all right. I need a trailer hitch. Why that? Uh, because I want to be able to put my bike rack on it so all I right. can bring that thing around Fair with me. Enough. Uh, and then probably nothing. Ultimate yeah. RJ Mobile. I want a straight up, reliable, nice <laughs> cruiser. I want to be able to go on trips. I want to be able to go up north. I want to camp. I don't want to worry about nothing. To be I just fair, want to get you, it and killed go. that with the Honda. Yeah, easiest thing to do. And Wagon can you get sick. parts for this engine in America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Common, yeah. easy. Just slam it. 
You I'm should not, lower it a little, huh? We're gonna, no, I'm we're good. Not even. Do you, I, I, honestly, Spoon and I already it. looked into it. I would put the one inch block kit that they have for it in. Really? Some little meaty tires I on plan it. on taking this thing camping. It's going to go in the woods. Mm. That's cool. That's a different approach. I guess I'll take it. It's real nice to just get in this car, turn key, and then just go like this. Yeah. And bomb everywhere and not worry about it. What's the point of owning a cool car if you don't make it more inconvenient? My whole life. Uh, all of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, well, RJ, be, I'm, I'm quite happy for you. This is Thank cool. You, it's nice to pull up and see this instead of the bug. I do it with <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. The, bugs, the bug is cool. The bug is cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's making me nervous. Oh, this thing goes. Did take off from the Brakes are Brakes are alright. Did it not shift? It's oh, I, I have it in. You have it in the manual mode. God no damn. No way. This thing yeah. has manual mode? It's got trip. <laughs> Trying to dips. <laughs> the brakes aren't terrible, but they could use an car. upgrade. Good car. Such a menace behind the wheel of any car. <laughs> this thing whips, dude. I got big Ultima energy in this thing right now. I'm sold. <laughs> nice work, Archie. Good, Good car. Good car. Good car. <laughs> and before we let this thing go, I just gotta talk about how big the factory arches are on this thing. You would think it's all, but look, look at it. Look at the fronts. This thing would look so sick. Slammed on some big, juicy wheels with these big old arches. I'm not saying you should do it. I know. Listen, I, not, that I, but, haven't, not but, that I haven't thought about it. Not that I've already talked to bag riders and they're all about it, but. But I get it. You, you like to drive, you like to go on road trips, and you like to enjoy your cars that way. So I have it's, like this thing on air in like 17s would be sick. Yeah, it takes some good juicy fit in it. She's sealed up, it's underbodied, it is fully restored up front. It is like having a brand new car and it is honestly the greatest feeling in the world considering how far this car came. From when I got it, we thought the thing was basically totaled. Like we were sitting there like, man, like did I just waste all that money and time trying to get this thing in here? And you know, getting a red uh, R34 was a, a big moment for me. I mean, I spent way too long looking for this car and then for it to show up the way it did, it was devastating and now we're here looking brand new again and um i couldn't be happier so like i said before now's the fun part we get to put all the new fancy stuff on make new lines do the harness the whole new engine swap everything and that's what we love to do around here so um we got some uh, underbody to cure and some stuff to do and we're gonna get right to work but for now we're gonna end it so you guys know the deal like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content we'll see you guys very shortly